Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we had a great question on one of our videos. We've got a global custom header up here and somebody wanted to know how to right align our menu items up here. By default they're sort of left aligned up against the logo there. And they wanted to change them from left align like this to right align like this. Now we've got to do a slight tiny bit of coding for this today. It's only one line and I'll put it below the video if anybody needs to copy and paste it, but don't let that put you off. It's really easy to do. So let's get started. Let's just close up this page where we've got it right aligned. And here it is on the left aligned, the default state. I'm using Google Chrome here today with the great inspector tools. So I can right click and inspect, hit the inspect. And it brings up the inspector and oh, I can start to identify the things that I want to identify to be able to change them. And if I highlight this one, you can see that we've got our menu right there, EPB menu menu. Now, if you don't, if your browser doesn't support this, most browsers do nowadays, I'm using Google Chrome here and it's a free download. So there we've got a class name for our menu, EPB menu menu. And that's right up here, same thing. And here's what it's got in it at the moment. If we go in there, and that's the same thing just below, if I just write margin, I want to affect the left hand side, margin left, colon, auto. As you can see, that's just popped over to the right hand side now because we've given it a margin on the left, so it automatically push it over to the right. So what I need to do now to make this actually permanent is to go to our theme customizer. So let's copy this class name E, ETPB menu, and the next one as well, ETPB menu, underscore, underscore menu. So we've got that class name, control C, copy. Let's go to our theme customizer now. Go down to dashboard, appearance, and customize. That'll bring us to this page. If we go down to additional CSS, this is where we can write our custom CSS. Let's drop this down a little bit. Always a good idea to give things a title so you can find them afterwards if you write a lot of CSS. So it's forward slash, star star, forward slash. In between the two stars, we can write our title. It won't be read as code. So I'm just gonna say menu left. And it's a courtesy also, if somebody comes in behind you and edits the site, it helps them out by letting them find things a lot easier. Okay, so we copied the class name I need to paste it in there. It's got the dot in front of it already. And if you don't, make sure you've got a dot or a period in front because they always need to have one class name. Then we need to open and close some curly brackets and add that line of code. We can either go back and copy it. I'm just going to retype it as it's just one line. As you can see, our menu's on the left right now. So we're going to say margin dash left auto and as soon as I've done that it's popped over to the right hand side and it's as simple as that really so if you're using a global header and you want to push your headings over to the right hand side that's the way to do it and I'll put this code below the video for anybody that wants to use it so let's publish our changes and make sure this is going to work let's go to our new page now get rid of that and refresh and that should stay exactly where it is and there we go we've now got a right aligned menu up there so there you go guys that's how to right align your menu if you're using a global header i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.